Hey guys, Drew here with Low Voltage Designs. I want to do a video on a remote phone setup uh, using the Grandstream UCM 6302. Uh, should be the same with any 6300 series. Um, but I had to set up a phone at a remote location. And so this is how I went through and did it. Uh, you want to first log in to GDMS. Um, this, is, this is the way you can do it all remotely. Um, and I do recommend using two-form authentication um, on everything that you use. And so here I'm, uh, I'm logging into GDMS. I'm going to go over to my UCM and remote into the UCM right from the GDMS platform here. Once you get logged into the UCM 6302, you want to go over to Value Added Features and go over to UCM Remote Connect and click on that. And then you want to come over here and you want to document, write down the UCM public address, the stun address, and your public TLS port that you're using. Um, we're going to use this information back in the GDMS platform to configure the phone. So document those three lines there and we'll head back over to the GDMS platform. All right, now that we're back over here, you wanna go over to SIP server, click add server, and in the server name and SIP server, you wanna use your public address that we documented earlier. Um, on the second line, SIP server, after you paste that, your public address in there, you wanna do a colon and the port number that we documented. Then you want to head over to VoIP device, and this is where you want to add your phone. I've got a brand new GRP2613 that I'm using here uh, for the setup purposes here. I just pulled it out of the box, and so I'm going to go ahead and label it test phone, input the MAC address and serial number. Um, now that I've got that all set up, you go over here to the phone settings, and you go to SIP settings and change the SIP transport to TLS. Um, and then you want to save that. And then you want to also head over to the phone settings and go down to general settings, turn on stun server. And this is where you want to paste in your uh, stun server address that we documented from earlier. And then you want to save, save and apply those two settings. Now you want to head over to your VoIP account and you want to find the extension that you're going to be using for this phone. And so when you click on VoIP account, SIP account, you find the extension, click edit, and you want to make sure that the server, SIP server right down there is uh, the server that you added earlier. Um, and it's not like some internal IP address. Uh, then you want to go back to the VoIP device, to that phone, and but you want to click on account settings. And then you want to drop down your account one to the extension that we just modified under SIP account. Uh, my example, I used 100. Um, so you change that account one to 100 and save it. And you'll see that the phone provisions, if you got the phone right in front of you, it'll reboot. Once it's rebooted, if you give it a second, it'll all come, come up. And then go ahead and place your test phone call. Thanks. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, comment, or subscribe below. And uh, let me know if you'd like to see any other videos. Thanks for watching.